Okay, here we have a neat tool from the brand Eric Hill. This is a digital anemometer. So hard to say, uh, but this certainly can come in handy. I plan on using it primarily to optimize uh, my dust collection system with some of my different woodworking type tools um, just to find out you know, where exactly to place the hoses, moving the hoses around and seeing how that affects CFMs. So obviously this can be used to measure wind speed, uh, you know, and that also means air speed, air volume, and those type of things. So let's talk a little bit about some of the different things that it can do. So this is model number HT625C. And what it can measure is it can measure air velocity, air volume, temperature, humidity, dew point temperature, and dew point humidity. So uh, lots of different things you can use it for, whether that means different outdoor activities, uh, just to know what your conditions are, if you're doing any sort of long range shooting, um, and then applications like I talked about with a dust control system or applications with an HVAC system to test how well your HVAC, uh, your AC or your heater's pushing air, that type of thing. Those are all great for uh, this digital anemometer. So with measurements, you've got lots of different measurements, like six different choices for velocity, four different choices for air volume. That's what I'm gonna be looking at is like CFMs and even airflow in CFM, which is flow velocity in feet per minute times the duct cross-sectional area. So you can get into some pretty technical stuff here. And then of course with temperature and humidity, you've got ambient temp, wet bulb temp, dew point, temp and relative humidity. So again, I'm gonna focus on the air volume measurement when I go to actually use it. So let's look at it. You can see, obviously it comes in a little box, talks a little bit about it. And then inside the box, you've got a nice case for it. Okay, you've got some directions here, so that's good. And then you've got three AAA batteries that it comes with. So first thing we're gonna do is, you know, take the screen protector off. And then we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put those batteries in. So you're gonna just need to grab a small screwdriver to open this up. So we'll open that up as quick as we can. All right. And then put the batteries in. It's nice that they include those batteries. And then we're just gonna power it on, okay? So you can see right there, powered on. It's already telling us the um, temperature in here, 75.5 degrees right now in my garage. And then we're not really seeing any sort of movement. I don't know if I can even, there we go, just to, to show you what it does right now. So anyway, that's how we get it set up and ready to go. So this was really just kind of an unboxing, showing you how this, uh, you set it up, long press the power button, it's on, you're ready to go. So I'm gonna stop the video now and I'll come back with another video where we go ahead and go through some of the functions of this and how to do that, and then eventually a demo using it with my dust collection system to try to optimize placement of the hoses. Okay, we've got the AirKill digital anom an anemometer right here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, turn it on and kind of go through some of it. So this is the model HT625C. And to turn it on, you're just gonna long press the power button, it's gonna turn on. So, all right, so it's gonna just automatically pop up there with the temperature, you can see, and relative humidity is up there. And then of course, we've got nothing going on here. So now if we start going through function, it's gonna want you to set that area first. So it's gonna be important, especially for the application I'm using it for to set the area because, um, you know, I'm looking to measure CFM. Uh, from my dust collector. So I'm measuring four inch circular ports, which uh, makes it a little harder to figure out the area. So I'm just going to pretend that they're four inch squares and four inch uh, times four inch comes out to 0.111 uh, square feet. So you can see that we've got 1.6 is what's in there right now. So we're gonna need to adjust that. So we're just gonna, oh, I clicked through the wrong way. So that, that actually just clicks through. Okay, and then this arrow just goes up. So it takes a little bit of playing with to get used to, but you'll figure it out pretty quick. All right, so then I'm gonna push this button to advance. And then it just is gonna only go up, go to one, advance, 
Oop, I went past it, so we're going to go back around to one. All right, so we've got that set. Okay, so now we've got it set for the area. And then what I want to measure in, the unit I'm looking to measure in is CFM. So I'm going to go ahead and push the unit button, and that's going to change it to CMM, and push it again, and now we're on CFM. So that's how I'm going to use this to measure CFM. So if I went ahead and blew on it, you can see there, it gives you a reading. Right, so it's gonna give you some readings there. All right, so the H button would hold and lock whatever your last reading is. The DP slash WB just switches between your dew point and your wet uh, bulb temperature. Your function we've already talked about is gonna flip, go through all your different functions. Okay, and then you've got your units of measurement, which we talked about, and then your record button is just going to let you go ahead and go from your average to your maximum to your minimum, etc. It's going to go through all that. All right, so definitely keep the instructions manual. Depending on how you're going to want to use this, you're going to probably need the instructions manual. It's a pretty fast learning curve. I think it's a pretty... Um, easy to use machine once you play with it a little bit, but you need to kind of get your hands on it. So I've got this all set up to measure CFM the way I want it to. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start running the dust collector. We're going to see if uh, moving the hoses around makes a difference when it comes to CFM and just to get some good CFM readings because each dust collector manufacturer kind of does their own testing and there's no standardized testing. So you can't really trust what they tell you. So again, this is Eric Hill, the digital anemometer, and the model number is HT625C. All right, so here we are with the Eric Hill digital anemometer. We're gonna test some CFM on my dust collection system here for my miter saw. You can see in the back, there's the big gulp that the four inch hose is hooked up to. So first thing we're gonna do is turn it on. When we turn it on here, we're gonna push function and it's gonna to wanna to find the area. Now, if I was just doing the hose itself, then it should just be that 0.111. But since we've got this larger opening, I'm gonna just basically do one foot square exactly. Okay, I'll just leave it at 1.1, that's close enough. All right, so we're set there. And now what I wanna do is the unit of measurement want to get it to CFM. So I went ahead and got it CFM. I know it's a little hard for you to see the way the lighting is, but anyway, it says CFM down here. When I just pushed the unit, it uh, went ahead and switched over. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on quick. We'll take some measurements and I'll turn it off because it's obviously really loud. All right, other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to average. So you hit record, it's going to do max, min, and then average. So I'm going to put it on average. And then we're going to go ahead and let's see, I'll have you zoom in. See if we can get in there on the table. Okay. Put it right up in that left corner. For the sake of time, oops, I'll just come back and look at it so you can see that it's moving around. It didn't give me some really good reading, so I'm going to go ahead and go, go just do it in the middle, and you're just not going to be able to see it very well. So that showed an average of about five, five to 600 CFMs. And, um, you know, if we did it right at the hose, we're going to get a much higher. Uh, but then since it opens up like this, 
it is definitely down to that 500. When I tested it right at the hose, I was at about uh, 1400. So big change from going to the hose to the gulp and then adjusting that area. So the other thing, so let me turn this off quick. The other thing I used this for was testing CFM on this one to see if the hose, moving the hose made a difference, and it didn't. I got consistently the same CFMs um, coming off of here, which was only about 150, which is what you'd expect off a three-quarter horse, and then when you sized it down like that. So anyway, it really came in handy. It's nice to know um, your CFMs, know where you're at. And then to be able to adjust things if you need to, or shorten hoses if you need to, taking out elbows and seeing the difference that that makes, because any of those 90 degree turns on the dust collection really impact the CFM. So digital anemometer from Eric Hill, and it is HT625C.